Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're going to go over MAME, the multiple arcade machine emulator on Android. Let's get started. So MAME is probably one of the more difficult emulators to get set up and running on your Android device. There are different versions of MAME, and there are also different versions of the ROM. So there are two things you have to consider. First and foremost, the version of MAME that you need. Secondly, the version of ROM that you need. So these are probably the three best emulators that I'm about to show you. First and foremost, uh, MAME for Droid 0.37B5, MAME for Droid 0.139U1, as well as RetroArch. Now to make matters more confusing, both these versions, so 0.139U1, and 0.37B5 work with different games. So you cannot use a game that will work in 0.37B5 on main 0.139U1. That's why I wholeheartedly recommend RetroArch for all of your emulation needs for MAME on Android. RetroArch has different versions of MAME cores built in, so you can select multiple cores and just see which one works for the ROMs that you have. And if you're curious on what version of ROM works with what version of MAME, the Internet Archive, so archive.org, will help you solve that problem. So you can see here, MAME 2000 reference set, also is MAME 0.37B5, which interestingly enough is this version of the Android emulator, MAME for Droid 0.37B5. So everything on the 0.37B5 ROM set should in theory work with the MAME for Droid 0.37B5 app. Archive.org also has the ROM sets listed out so you can see what games are included. Um, just please note that these game lists will be different for each ROM set, uh, each version of MAME. There may be some similarities in there, however, there will be some differences as well. Also, just something to take note of, there are multiple files you may need to run each game. You may need the parent file, the orphan or child file, as well as the BIOS file. For example, on MAME 2010 or MAME 2010 or MAME 2010, whatever you want to call it, uh, MAME 0 0.139. If you want to play Super Street Fighter 2, uh, if you want to play Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, you need the parent and the child or the parent and the orphan or whatever you want to call it. Uh, you need the original game, which is Super Street Fighter 2 right here. And then you also need the version of the game that you want to play. So for example, if you wanted the American version of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. There are different versions here. You can see Super Street Fighter 2 TU, Super Street Fighter 2 TUR1. It gets very confusing. So you might have to do your homework, do some Googling, figure out what the parent ROM is to the version of the game that you need and go from there. The easy way to get all of these ROMs to work is to have the entire list. If you were to have the entire ROM set, you would have all the parents, the child, as well as all the BIOS files required in order to get the games to work. As you can see on the right side of the page here, I've highlighted some information that archive.org has that may help you decide what ROMs are required in order to run the version of MAME you're looking for. So here is an example of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo running on MAME using RetroArch. In this folder, there are two ROM files, SSF2 and SSF2TUR1. In order for Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo to run, which is this bottom ROM right here, you need the parent ROM, which is Super Street Fighter 2. So both of these ROMs are required for Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo to run. So in order to run the game, SSF2TUR1 is selected. The next step is to load the core. There are two cores here that have been downloaded, FB Alpha 2012 and FB Alpha, which is Final Burn Alpha. Those are two versions of MAME emulators. So for the purposes of this video, FB Alpha is going to be selected. Now the game is booting up and ready to go. So to recap, remember these steps. Firstly, make sure that you visit archive.org Take a look at the ROMs that belong to a specific ROM set that works with a specific version of MAME. Step two 
is to download RetroArch on your device. I highly recommend it as it's an all-in-one emulator. Step three is to make sure you have the proper parent with the proper child and any required BIOS files. That's all I've got for today. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Also, if you didn't notice, I do have some new channel art and that is courtesy of Chris over at Fiverr. I'm gonna leave a link to his Fiverr in the description below as well as his Twitter. Definitely check it out, he does really good work. Thank you everyone, take care.